to go. Hello. We've drawn a number of different items. Most of them had straight lines. Now we're going to work on something that might have a little bit of curve to it. Plus, we're going to have to figure a little bit more clearly on how to space things, how to make things look proportionate in a picture. So we're going to use two simple objects. One's going to be an oval. The other one's going to look like a fence. So A is going to be an oval. You should all know by now how to draw a box. Notice that this box is very narrow, and it tends to look, if you're looking at this one, almost squarish. It should be. So, it's not very wide, but you use the two-point perspective. Same thing here. This is not going to be a box. It's going to be a fence. But we're going to do it this way so I can show you how to space. So it looks like the fence is actually going into a specific direction. To find the center of anything, as we've done before, you draw an X using the opposite corners and you find the center of this particular box is right here. Here I didn't draw an X, I just drew a line from the bottom here to the top of the next post. Now what happens is, to space this properly, the next post that is further away should look smaller, so you look into the picture. To do that we draw a parallel line here to this one. This is parallel here. And you notice that the distance here you will see, compared to the distance here, this is smaller, this is wider, but the key is in the actual space, if you were standing here, they would look equally apart. The same is true here. From this peak here, I draw a line till it hits the bottom of the vanishing point line to the bottom of this particular post. And once I do that, I know the vertical line will go here, if I draw a second line here that is parallel to this, and then eventually draw a straight line here, you'll notice that this space is narrower than this space, but you're looking into the picture. And sure enough, that's what I did. So you notice this is wider than this, and this one is wider than this. The same is true here and here. Now in the picture above, I drew another line here, and a vertical line. So you notice I have this built into eight equal pieces. That's done on purpose. A lot of people have tremendous difficulty in drawing circles or ovals. Many times the circles look like potatoes and the ovals look like something else, maybe a kidney bean. They don't look really round or smooth. So this is kind of a crutch to help you draw them. Okay. If you take a look at the picture on the top, there is a loose curve that goes from the top here to this. That's just one quarter, a gentle curve. You draw another gentle curve here. If you think about it, eventually you're going to see an oval here. Here I drew more posts. And you notice they get smaller and smaller and closer and closer together. When I made the posts look like logs, not too even, Notice that this one is pretty wide and big, but the ones back here are very small. Besides being small, they're closer together, so it looks like they're further from you. In this particular case, what I did was, after I drew this curve and this curve, I followed up with a curve here and a curve here, and then I developed an oval. To give it a three-dimensional feel, remember the box was this thick. So what we do here is, this curve here is repeated over here with a straight line for the top and a straight line for the bottom from this vanishing point. What I did was shade it here and it looks like a tire. In this particular case, I erased the lines I didn't need. I put a line across here with little marks on it to give the impression that it's like a barbed wire fence with two wires. And you notice they do look as though they're going away and this is a corner of somebody's property that they fenced. And in the background I did the same gentle rolling hills. So it really does look three-dimensional even though it's on flat paper just like this. And that's how you draw ovals. So if we review you've drawn 
basically rectangular boxes in one, two, and three point perspective. You've drawn cityscapes, we use lots of boxes, again in one, two, and three point perspective. You drew pyramids in one as well as two point perspective. We drew a ranch style house in two point perspective that had a gable roof which is triangular on one side and rectangular for the box bottom. And now you've seen how to draw an oval and fence posts and space them properly. Keep in mind just because this is drawn upright you can do the same by making the box lie flat and then instead of standing upright it could be like a tire laying down. But it's still the same principles at work.